Now, if you can track down Alicia, you can trade with her to get the cat's hat. There is an entire set of cat's equipment that really isn't all that breathtaking. There are some nifty pieces in it, though. Now, no matter what you give her, this will not... or she will not approve the trade unless you give her... Three Floor Tower. In which case, it's an immediate success. And now we have the Cat's Hat. Next up, we have Stare. Now, you'll notice all of these people you're trading with, when you talk to them, merely say, Do you want to trade? There's a number of people running around town that say just that. When you talk to them, all they'll suggest is what they will trade. To talk to, uh, from Stare, you can get the Cat's Mail for your doll amulet. Among other things. Now, I've said before, a lot of the people in town actually have really interesting dialogue when you talk to them. There's a choice few of them, like Stare, though, that will only trade. And now we have the Cat's Mail. Next up is Flare. We'll give you the cat's gloves for the Magnolia Miso. And now we have three parts of the cat set. Next up would be Fool, who will give you the cat's boots for, if we can find it in here somewhere, the Scent of Giraud. And that's all for the cat set. We still have another couple three uh, key, uh, three items to trade, though. Benyoit, if you can find him, will give you the Yoshida 26, a rare weapon for the Wave Masters. Eh. And for that, he he, he will want the boxed lunch. Next up is Waffle, who will give you the Dreams of Yore, a heavy blade weapon, for Field's Deed. And with that, we have Dreams of Yore. Let's see here. Eh. Poor accuracy. And finally, we have Cyan here who will give you the Gimme Life, a 51 Blade Master weapon, for the Rogue Fragment, or Rouge Fragment. I'm not up on my speaking right now. Whichever the two, and you get the Gimme Life. Now let's take a look at some of these items I just got here. Gimme Life, 51 weapon for Blade Master. Dreams of Yore, 51 weapon for Heavy Blade. Pretty poor accuracy on that one. Yoshida, 26 weapon for Wave Master. Some pretty high-end spells there, even a level uh, level 3 summon. Ice Tiger here to keep on me anyways. Cat's Hat isn't really anything special. It has Rip Main on it, but it is a light hit. No, it actually is a uh, mid-grade armor. Hmm. Cat's Mail. I may just keep the Cat's Mail on me anyway, because it has Deck Vorv on it, which uh, lets you lower a target's defense. That, on, in itself, I wouldn't really use much, but if an enemy is physical tolerant, this will get rid of their physical tolerance. There's the Cat's Gloves, which give you Rip Tain and Rip Sync both, which is fairly helpful. And then the Cat's Boots give you Deck Torv and Opdo. Opdo is speed up, always useful, but at the same time, not really. And then Deck Torv, which I would probably never use. As long as I'm running about aimlessly looking for NPCs, there's a choice few that I'd like to show off. The first one I ran across here was Henneko, who... Uh, 
Tenneco is just weird. And that's Hinako. Then there's Hinata here. Who Hinata is looking to get a hundred members on her friend list. She says see, she's up to 70 now. Now I notice it doesn't actually go in even sections. You'd think after the first game, which she was running around the very first game, she started this whole quest around the time you started the game. And it didn't move in a nice steady 25, 50, 75. I also noticed that 70 is about the level you beat the game. So I won't guarantee this, but I think whenever you talk to her, she'll give you the... Um, the number of friends she has should be about the level you should be. Don't quote me on that, though, it's speculation. Heavy, I seem to run into about every three seconds, and she's been here since the very beginning, and she's been struggling with her internet connection the entire time. Okay, is that all she says? Nope, there we go. I don't know why, but I really like Heavy. I want her member address. And then there's Eikichi. Who I think is a member of the Yakuza. Omega, he's referring to Omega Server, actually, which is the server we're, we're in in the next game. Later, Eikichi. Now, for any of you curious why this update took so long to come out, let me show you something over here. Go to the save station, save my game, and the clock reads 128 hours have been put into this game. That's total within all three games played so far. This save data is the uh, game completion save after I beat Gore. I put 22 hours of game time into this recording. Yes, that's how long it took. There was very little idle time in that too. Maybe an hour of that was idle time. And that's not even counting how much editing and all that fun crap I had to do either. So yeah, the more you know. Now with all that crap out of the way, we have places to go. We have Goblin Tag to play here, and if we head back to Lambda Server, we have the final dungeon of the game. There's also something I want to show off with the cat's equipment, but I'll save that for next time. Yes, I'm splitting the bonus video into two segments. Until next time, everyone.